This video is about tangent planes and a linear approximation. If I give you a function depending on single variable, we know the graph is a curve. If I give you a point on the curve, say x naught, y naught, then you can talk about its tangent line. Okay, now if I give you a function depending on two variables, its graph this time is a surface. Is a surface. And I give you a point on the surface, say, x naught, y naught, z naught. Then obviously, or well naturally, we don't talk about tangent line anymore. We're talking about what? Tangent plane, similarly, like that. This plane would touch this surface at that point. It's one point. Just touch it. OK. Now, the question, how do we find equation for the tangent plane? We learn the equation of line and equation of plane. Any plane can be right like this. I mean, any plane past the point x naught y naught, z naught can be right like this. y minus y naught plus c, z minus z naught equal to 0. So any equation past that point, x naught, y naught, z naught, can be right in this form. OK, the question, we need to find a, b, and c. Now, if c is non-zero, we can solve for z minus z naught equal to Uh, d, say, x minus x naught plus e, y minus y naught. My d here, you can think about is what? Is minus a over b, right? Okay. Similar, you can find e. Okay. Anyway, so any equation of line, uh, any equation of the plane past the point x naught, y naught, z naught can be written in this form. So what we need to do just find d and the e, then we're done. We find the equation of the plane. Okay, how do we find the d and the e? Now, go down here, this is point x naught, y naught. Now, let y equal to y naught. Then this equation become to z minus z naught equal to d times x minus x naught. What this equation means? Y equal to x naught, uh, equal to y naught. It's like this. Remember, this is a, uh, y equal to y naught give you a plane parallel with x z plane. Go up will intersect your surface, get a curve like that. And also, this y equal to y naught will intersect your tangent plane. Two plane intersection give you what? Give you a line. Okay. This line, in fact, is what? Tangent line to this curve. Okay. So we know the slope of this tangent line, remember? That's exactly, that's what we, we learned in the previous section. That's exactly the partial f to respect to x evaluated at that point. Okay. So we can find a d. Remember the meaning of a partial derivative respect to x to give you what? Slope of a tangent. For the curve, how do we get the curve? Intersect with your surface by y equal to y naught. Okay. 
Similarly, we can find E there equal to partial f raised back to y at x naught, y naught. Therefore, we find the equation of a tangent plane is like this. fx, x naught, y naught, x minus x naught, plus fy evaluate this point, and y minus y naught. Remember, what is z0? z0 is on that surface, really equal to what? fx0, y0, right? It's not hard to see. Okay. Therefore, we can rewrite this one, z equal to z0, which is fx0, y0, plus fx, x0, y0, x minus x0, plus fy, x0, y0, and y minus y0. So what is this? This is the equation of the tangent plane, which we also called is a linear approximation, or say linearization. Okay, the right-hand side of the equation on the box, we give a name. We say LXY. Okay. Obviously, the function is a linear function of x and y. Okay, so to find the equation of the plane and to find the linearization, we'll say linear approximation, is the same thing. Okay. Now, L x y, which is a linear approximation for x y, will be very close to f x y if this point is close to x naught, y naught. Okay. This can be seen as a 1D case, okay? Function depends on one variable. Let me show you what we mean by that. Now this this is a point, right? You have a tangent line. This point is x naught, y naught. This tangent line really is linearization for the fx. This is the fx. So you got two functions. One is fx, another is lx. This is x naught. If you pick your x far away from x naught, then this is the fx, this is the lx. That quite different. If you choose your x is very close to x naught, this is the fx, this is the lx. They are very close to each other, right? If if x close to x naught, then fx will close to lx. That's why we call it a linear approximation. Okay. okay, now let's look at the example. We want to find linearization linearization for the given function fxy here equal to x e to the xy at the point. At a point, at a point one zero. Okay. okay, now remember the formula is like this: f x naught, y naught, x minus x naught. Wait, no. Plus f x, 
x naught y naught x minus x naught plus f y x naught y naught y minus y naught. Okay. This is a linearization for giving f x y and x naught y naught. For this specific problem, I give you f x y like that, and I give you x naught equal to one, y naught equal to zero. So what do you need to do? Just find f x naught y naught and this one and this three coefficients. Okay. So first of all, let's find f x naught y naught, which is f one. I mean zero. Sorry. Now go back to here. X equal to one. Y equal to zero. So one times e to the zero. Give you one. Okay. So next thing is we need to find f x. Evaluate the one zero. So before we do that, we have to find this. Okay, this means we want to take a partial derivative with respect to x on f x, right? Now this one you replace f here by the function you have. Okay. Now we're taking partial derivative, so you treat y as a constant. Now we have two functions, so we have to use the product rule. Take the root of first one, fix second one change, give you one times e to the x y. Okay. Then plus fix x. Take the root of second one. Use the chain rule, give you e to the x y, then take the root of x y. Trade y is a constant, so give you y. Then you have to find f x one zero. So the first one give you one, second one give you zero. Because y there, y equal to zero. Then we'll have to find f y, x y. Okay, to find f y, that means you want to find the partial derivative of f respect to y. Replace your f by the given function. This one's easier because what? You treat x as a constant. So the first x is a constant, you put that out. Take the root of the second one, give you e to the x y. Then take the root of that respect to y, treat x as constant, to give you this. Then you have to replace x y by one zero. When you talk about finding the tangent plane or linearization, you have to tell me you want to do that at which point? Okay. So replace in the above equation, replace x by 1. 1 times y is 0, give you 1 times 1. So it give you 1. Therefore, your linearization, Lxy, equal to just plug in, okay, fx naught y naught give you 1, plus also 1, right? So 1 times x minus 1, x naught is 1, plus 1 times y minus 0. Okay, okay. so you can simplify that, give you 1, plus x minus 1, then plus y. So simply give you x plus y. Okay. okay. Now, we want to uh, find, we really want to find this. If x is 1.1, y is minus 0.1. Okay. We want to find this number. Now, think about this. If you don't have, if you don't have a calculator, it's very hard for you to find this one. If you don't have a calculator, if you only can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, it's very hard for you to find this one. Now, however, this one can be approximated by 1.1 1 .1 
and the minus 0.1, right? This one's easy to find. You just plug in there, x is 1.1 .1 plus y, which is minus 0.1. They give you 1, okay? But this one is not exactly what is, if you use your calculator, it's not hard to find. This one give you 0 0.985 something. Obviously, y is a good approximation to that. y, this time, l 1.1 is a linear approximation, linear approximation give you a good approximation. That's because of what? 1.1 and a negative point one is a what? Very close to the point one and a zero. Okay, another thing we need to learn is like we call the total differential. Okay. Total differential has been defined this way. Partial z respect to x dx plus partial z respect to y dy. Remember, uh, for the single variable function, we define something called a differential, like this way. dy dx dx. Okay. Or you can write this f prime of x dx. We call it dy as a differential. Okay. Now, similarly, for the function depending on two variables, we can naturally to have this. Okay, if dy equal to zero, we can say what? This implies f prime of x is zero. Means what? Your z what y equal to fx is what? Constant. Now look at it here. If I have function partial z respect to x equal to zero, this does not imply z is a constant. Okay, this only say what? Z only depends on x. Then partial z respect to y equal to zero. This implies your z only depends on y. However, if your total differential equal to zero, that implies partial f respect to x and the partial f respect to y, they're both zero. That implies, I mean, f and z, same thing, okay? It's constant.